Uh, hello, now I create another JS file which is db.js. In this file, um, this file is mainly used to basically for the connection with database and mongoose. Uh, sorry, database and node. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Here, I explain this code. Record mongoose. In this line, one first line, record on mongoose. Why I use this because to work with the mongoose JS and store it in the constant mongoose variable. That is for sure we will not reinitialize it further. Okay. Here we set the values of mongoose dot promise from the global dot promise where global is a variable which is declared in the node modules okay and and uh, you have to remind that uh, global is a interface and promise is a property of this interface promise is a type of promise that's it and uh, so now it is clear to us what we store in um, mongoose.promise that is basically the type of promise now let uh, is connected in the sixth number line which is undefined for the first execution and uh, in the fifth line module.export what is the module.export the export statement is used when creating a javascript module to export live bindings to functions objects or primitive values from the module so they can be used by the other programs with the import statement so it is actually export the connection to the database which we can use from the handler.js okay and uh, in handler.js i can show you and this is in third line okay uh, we have this is handler this is mainly a controller in this case and uh, we require the db that means db.js in connection uh, to database variable okay next um, in 12th number line you can see that this return a new connection to the database with the process of env.db what the process is that um, there is a when handler.js dot env is the uh, configure you can uh, say that um, process is the part of dot env okay and we can invoke uh, the db from variables.env to db.js you can see that env here 12 number 9 env is the is mainly the variables.env and db is the in env file there is a db variable in there and the mongo string connection mongo's connection string is in db variable and this db is invoked in db.js by process variable okay i hope you understand and now in sixth number line is connected huh. it will uh, execute when a database connection is already exist is connection if uh, is connection is true that means we always require the db in our handler js and constant and uh, in handler js um, this variable in third line um, equal to require the db and every time we call the endpoint in handler js it invokes the db.js after the first execution of db.js has saved db dot connection dot ready statement ready state okay the value in the is connect 
variables so there is no need to connect the database again and return the